the how how on earth has that worked loose? The whole oh my god might be getting some tools out. You know what? Sometimes I laugh and joke about this, but sometimes it's really annoying like really annoying because you just want to go out and have fun and your bike falls to bits and I'm not sure I've got a socket that I'm assuming I have to take that off to get to whatever tightens that up because that doesn't do jack that doesn't tighten anything so I'm assuming I have to take this off to tighten it back up but it's a tiny weeny little bolt pain in the arse not seen the funny side of this today. And I want a cup of coffee and I'm getting really hungry now as well. Let's just get this sorted. Yeah, I'm really not seeing the funny side of this. Really, really, absolutely not seeing the funny side of this because that's not that is not what holds that tight so I'm just taking the light off for no fucking reason i'm a freaking nightmare here i can only assume that that whole thing is held on with something under the bottom indicator so i'm taking the bottom indicator off thought might as well put the top light back on no point in having that but that screw then It's just gone straight through the hole it should be sat on the side of because it's just made the hole bigger. Once again, not having fun with this. I'm on the verge here of having a full bore fucking meltdown. I can't figure out. And somebody will say in the sections, oh, you're just doing that. I can't figure out how these two tighten up. That silver thing seems to do jack shit. It, it doesn't thread into anything. There's nothing in there. I've taken this off, taking that light off now. That goes from, this casing just tighten up to that. I can't help thinking it's this silver, this aluminium thing, but turning that does absolutely nothing. I'm getting really hot, really pissed off. This motorcycle at the moment is not doing itself any favours because I'm test riding another motorcycle next weekend. Did not want to be sat in a load of shit on the side of a road trying to fix a fucking light that I've done nothing to. I dread to think how long I have been sat in the mud trying to sort that out I can't sort it out it's as loose as can be and I couldn't give a shit I'm going to carry on with it like that if it falls off it falls off if it falls off I'm just going to cut it off I can't look online because I've got no signal because because I'm here Yeah. I'm gonna just carry on. <laughs> I'm laughing now. I have been throwing tools around. <laughs> I think I've found them all. I think I've found them all. Right, I'm going.
I'm going. Falls off. Falls off. Shit. Let's go. Let's go do the rest of the snake pass. Keep an eye on me wonky light.
this is Hayfield. It's like something off the last of the summer wine or something. Look, how pretty. Who wants a big fat pie and a custard slice? Me, me, I do. I want loads of that, but I can't have them. I'm gonna be egg and strawberries. That's pitiful. I think I've just paid £1.50 for that. I've got two strawberries. Right, that's lunch done. Let's leave Hayfield. Destination unknown. Oh, I've gone the wrong way. Which is quite surreal, really, because I've gone the wrong way somewhere where I don't know where I'm going. So, no, I'm going to be straight and I'm going to follow my route. Right, I better see where I am. Unsurprisingly, I'm offline. So... So I don't know where I am, or where I'm going. Hello, horse. So I'll back down along this lane until I can maybe get a signal, perhaps. Turned off that lane onto another lane now. Fucking not got a 
Funeral Trust land and he says farm vehicles only. <laughs> Stupid does that look? Thought I'd better just stop. Oh, the bike is absolutely minging and I really can't be bothered to clean it. 
Unless I'd have gone, if I hadn't have gone down stupid lanes, it would still be clean because all the roads are dry. Um, I've just stopped. I am still apparently in the Goit Valley. Um, just seen a sign where I am. Oh, there you go. Airwood Hall. I thought I'd better just stop and get my bearings a little bit because it's all right. Me just following signs. I don't even know if I'm going in the kind of right direction when I to went in the Goit Valley but yeah it's all very pretty so I just needed to check the sat nav and I'll, I'll start heading toward the direction of home so hey do you like the top? pretty cool isn't it? today I will be mostly wearing bobhead armoured full armoured shirt perfect for this weather I'd be sweating in I'd be sweating quite a lot in my leather now, so yeah, right. Oh, get some Vimto down me so I don't get a headache, and then um, carry on through the Goat Valley. Got a boss eyed bike. Well, I've just popped out um, of the Goit Valley uh, at the Cat and Fiddle pub, which is quite famous around these parts uh, for being like dead high up. I don't know, it's one of the highest pubs or something or other. I don't know. Don't do me research out well, do I? So I'm kind of on the last stint now, so I'm going to wrap it up here. Um, that was a bit of a strange one. The video was doing the high, the steepest road in the UK, which I didn't do, which was pretty butt clenching. Um, and just getting out and do some twisties, finding some strange little lanes, which I did manage to do, loads of them, that went absolutely nowhere. So, yeah, bit of a weird one. Thank you very much for watching. Um, next week, I will be. As said earlier on, do my test ride. So as soon as I've um, got all that sorted, we're away for a few days after I do that. Cause we're going to kind of Cotswolds area, so we're staying down for a few days. So it'll be a few days before I get the video up once I've test ridden it. Um, and I'll uh, yeah let you know how that goes. Interesting. Right, thanks everybody. See you all soon. Drop.